All right, today is gonna be a day of first. It's gonna be a fun day, I think, but uh, before we get into it, gotta head to the office and pack up some stuff because uh, we're traveling. So I've been thinking about what gear to bring along on this trip and I, I'm kind of at a loss. I, I, I don't really know what camera to take along. I'll show you guys so far what I have uh, decided on. So here's kind of my stuff. What I have decided so far is that I'm gonna be taking the Mavic Pro 2, not the Mavic Air. Let's get rid of that guy. Next, stabilizer wise, I'm gonna be bringing along the DJI Ronin S. Yes, the Glidecam XR2000 has finally been retired. I'm switching over to this gimbal. Then I got my packs of accessories. I have the 24mm f1.4, Sigma, great lens. Sigma, 35mm f1.4. And then I know I'm gonna bring the 16 to 35. That's my favorite lens, my go-to lens. But the thing I haven't fully decided on up until this point is which camera to take along. Should I take the Sony a7 R? Should I take the Sony a7 III? Should I take the 1DX Mark II? Or should I take the EOS R that I'm filming on right now and I've been kind of using for vlogging? Um, I think the EOS R is like the best vlogging camera and it's a great stills camera. Cinematics wise, not the best. The Sony is really great for cinematics. It's a tiny size, there's a lot of benefits to it. But then the autofocus and the color science aren't as good as, for example, the Canon. And then we got the 1DX2, which 4K doesn't really work that well. 120p, the best 120 frames per second out of all these guys. Uh, but then we don't have things like C-Log in, in the 1DX. So I don't know what camera I should take along. Okay, I think I've made my decision. Um, after this clip, everything is gonna be filmed on that one camera. I'm not gonna reveal it yet. If you think you know which camera it is, uh, comment down below. I'm, I'm really curious if you guys can guess. Okay, switching to that camera that I'm gonna be bringing along on this trip. Now. Bye, Matt. I'll see ya. See you in a week. Have fun in don't, I had to bleep that out. They don't know yet. Have fun in wherever you're going. <laughs> All right, see you, man. All right, just gotta head home, say bye to the family, and then, then we're off. This next part right here, uh, it's by far the hardest part of traveling for me, by far. What do you think? Is this the camera to use? Mm hmm. You gonna say see you later, buddy? Yeah. See you later. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. yeah. Can I get a hug? Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah. Daddy's gonna miss you. <laughs> okay, see you later, buddy. See you later. Yeah. Man, I love that guy so much. Ah, he's so cute. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Does not make it any easier though. Just gets harder and harder. He's getting older, he understands what's going on. Yeah, it's tough. Look at this. Wait a second, what are you doing here? Oh well, I just came to Toronto to see you for a few minutes. But I'm leaving Toronto. <laughs> He's a jerk. <laughs> he doesn't even want to see it, spend time with his own brother. We're literally high-fiving at the airport. He's coming to Canada, and I'm leaving. And I won't see him other than this. All right, onward. The key to traveling is to pack light, only take a carry-on, and that way you don't have to check your bags. Save time. To be fair, it was really hard fitting everything in. Ah, sometimes I wish I could just travel without any cameras. Oh, it'd be a dream. Got through security, that's that's the stressful part. And now you might be thinking, poor Maddie, he's traveling by himself. It's not true. I'm traveling with somebody. Good buddy of mine. You, you might know him, I don't know. 
Peter. Oh, <laughs> I almost <laughs> dropped this like two seconds Don't ago. Don't do it. Straight up almost dropped. Hey, how's it going? You ready for this? I'm super hungry, but yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. I haven't even told them where we're going yet. I've told them where we're going like three vlogs ago, so I think they might already know. <laughs> I'm sorry I ruined it for you. <laughs> Surprise ruined. All right, <laughs> let's continue. Uh, so I've, I've been in airport lounges before, but not like this. This is definitely a first. Yo. This is an airport lounge. This is, this is a lounge. <laughs> I just find it funny. Very confused. <laughs> This is a lounge. Okay, so I, I mentioned in the beginning that this was a, a day of first. Well, first of all, I, I don't really know what camera to travel with. So um, if you haven't guessed what camera I'm filming on now, pause the video, comment down below. I'm curious if you can guess. Um, second, second first is that um, this is the first time I'm flying first class. I've never, I've never done it. I feel like, I feel a little out of place. I feel like I don't belong. Uh, I guess that's like two firsts in one because it's the first time flying first class. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Um, and then it's my first time in uh, Dubai. Well, that's not completely true, but I'll tell you the story later. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why, I'm nervous. Apparently this is where I live for the next 14 hours. You know that feeling when uh, you kind of don't feel like you belong and then uh, you're just waiting for somebody to come to you and be like, mm, sorry sir, like, your seat's over there. That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. I don't feel like I belong. Hey, yeah. what are you, hey, I'm, I'm right in front of him. What, what is great. this? It's a big, big comfy seatbelt. <laughs> See you later. It's like... Good to go. Aliens, those are just de-icers. It gets cold here in Canada. Gotta de-ice the wings. pretty fancy. I always feel a little bit uncomfortable at fancy hotels. Again, don't really feel like fit in, but uh... <clears throat> Look at that. It says my name on the TV. Some uh, Epidemic goodies. If I haven't told you, we're here with Epidemic Sound. Great people. Bathroom. Oh, and uh, I didn't tell you guys what camera I ended up going with, so uh... Mirror here, uh, why don't we reveal what camera was a hey, but before I reveal pause the video if you haven't commented down below guess which camera this was I want to know if you guys can tell All right, you guys ready? Canon 1DX Mark II Ended up going with the 1DX. I just I really like this 120p for cinematic visuals um, and I feel like when you're in a place like Dubai, you need some cinematic, really epic stuff. So uh, yeah, went with the 1DX2. Plus it's good for photos. Also, it's kind of weird to be in Dubai for, for a couple reasons. One, it's because it's raining outside. And we were talking to the, the hotel lady who showed us our room and she was saying this is the first time she's been in rain in Dubai. So that's kind of weird. I didn't expect rain in Dubai. And then number two, I said this is my first time in Dubai, but that's 
half truth, that's not fully true. And this, this is going way back when I was just a wee young lad. Um, I think I was like 21, 22. And um, me and my friend were flying from Helsinki, Finland to Indonesia, Jakarta. And uh, we flew through Abu Dhabi. But then our flight from Abu Dhabi to Jakarta got cancelled. This was like one of my first big trips kind of by myself or with a friend. Uh, we were totally lost. We had no idea what was going on. And they ended up driving us from Abu Dhabi to Dubai in a taxi at like 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, I honestly thought um, at times we might get kidnapped. Or I, didn't, I didn't know what was going on. I was young. I, I didn't know anything. And I just remember, I, I don't know if this is just a memory, but I just remember kind of like waking up, we're going down this highway and all of a sudden there's just these skyscrapers um, along this highway. Maybe this is just a dream I had. That's like all I remember from Dubai. Um, and then we just got to the airport and then we flew to Jakarta, Indonesia. So I've kind of been in Dubai for like a couple minutes. That's it. Oh, all right. So that was uh, checking for sweat stains. That was uh, day one of our uh, Dubai trip. Uh, I think I'm going to go shower now. It feels really weird, but um, I guess I'm supposed to sleep again now. I, I feel like I just slept, so uh, I don't know how this is going to work out, but um, yeah, it's time to relax. Also, if you're wondering why I didn't choose the, the Sony or the EOS R, well, the EOS R because it doesn't have 120, and then I didn't choose the Sony a7 III because uh, not very good autofocus. Plus, um, Peter's here and he's on the 1DX2, so it makes it easier if we're both on the 1DX2. Speaking of, Peter. Welcome to Dubai. The peephole is so low that I just I saw your chest. <laughs> Sony sees the owl. I was just thinking that. That's so funny. Excuse me for me. I feel like they may as well just put it down here. I had no <laughs> idea who it was. These rooms are amazing. Crazy, right? I, I always I, I don't really know how I feel about really fancy rooms. I always I'll feel tell out you, of place. Like, I want to take this home. <laughs> this belongs your style, in my eh? office. This, like, I want these doors at the office, our office. <laughs> Welcome to Dope Squad. <laughs> Incredible. You would. You oh, would. Oh, wow, it's great. Yeah. All right, what do we do now? Uh, food. Super hungry. Okay. Can I go shower first? Uh, we're all going down right now. So. Oh, damn it. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Oh, man. Saddle up. Let's go. Thought I was going to get to relax. Nope. Oh, feels like a never-ending day. Um, all right, now it's time to actually get some rest and sleep. See you guys tomorrow.